We've got a pretty exciting event happening in the skies this weekend. On Saturday, we have an annular solar eclipse. Now, before I get into the nitty gritty on what you can expect to see, let's talk definitions. There are two types of solar eclipses, an annular and a total. Now, this one is an annular, and that's because the moon in appearance is going to be a little bit smaller than the sun itself. So areas in the path of totality will actually see a ring of fire around the moon. A total eclipse is when the moon actually appears bigger than the sun itself and is able to cast its shadow over the entire area of sunlight. So this year it's going to be an annular eclipse. Now the path of totality for this eclipse is out in the western United States. So areas uh, from northern California down towards Texas will be in that path of totality and that includes areas like San Antonio. Here at home, a little bit of a different story. We can see about 30 to 40% of the eclipse, depending on where you live. Whether there's clouds around that might block the view is a bit of a different story. But if you do get breaks in the clouds, this is definitely going to be an eclipse that you're able to see here in the Northeast United States. So here at home for Harrisburg, the partial eclipse begins right at noon on Saturday. The maximum eclipse, so when about 30% of the sun is covered, will occur at 117. And the partial eclipse then ends at 235. So we get about two and a half hours of potential viewing of this eclipse. So if the clouds are able to break up just a little bit, Definitely something you're going to want to check out, but there's also some safety tips that you need to keep in mind. If you are going to try and view the eclipse, you don't want to look directly at the sun. In fact, you need some special glasses. Eclipse glasses must be used. You can purchase them online. A lot of local museums and other outreach programs have them as well. If you don't have these approved glasses, there are ways that you can indirectly look and view the eclipse, like using a pinhole projector. Lots of home DIY science projects you can use to try and see this eclipse. Now, whether we're able to see it or not because of the clouds and the wet weather, a completely different story, of course. We'll keep you updated on that forecast as it gets closer. But for now, I'm meteorologist Danielle Miller.